Hi, my name is Jane Sanders. I'm the owner and the architect of this Passive House project in Park Slope, and we're going for NFIT certification. I did the training a few years back and became a certified Passive House designer, and I really wanted a project, and I decided to do my own house. It's a brick masonry building that was built between 1870 and 1880. And one of the big challenges in these old masonry buildings is air sealing them and insulating them. We can have to do exterior insulation, so we have to insulate from the inside. So we're doing dense pack cellulose with an Intello air barrier at the front and back walls and a stove air barrier on the party walls. I'm Jeremy Shannon. I'm the CEO of Build Prospect. We're the builder for architect and homeowner Jane Sanders for her house in North Park Slope. The way we actually install the framing and the Intello is different on a passive house than, than we would normally do in construction in the city. We actually box out the window area with a plywood box that's fastened back to the masonry. And then we do an open cell spray foam that's kind of sealing to the brick on the outside just for some extra insulation behind this. The Intello then wraps around and once the Intello is wrapped around continuously we then install um, 24 inch on center 2x3s that actually are going to give us a, a cavity that we can use for the electrical. But we don't want to have any plumbing or electrical penetrations going through this, so we keep this cavity simply for our thermal boundary, which is the dense pack cellulose, and then our electrical wires and boxes can stay in this place, and our drywall then covers over this area. On the roof for our insulation layer, we did four inches of polyiso above the roof deck uh, and below the roof membrane, and then we did an additional seven inches of dense pack in between the joists. What we do here is this doesn't look air sealed, but it actually is sealed here with an adhesive. And we make sure the stow guard goes back and has a good overlap so that when the Intello goes here and we have a continuous bead and we put a blower door pressure on the house, we can then make sure that this is continuous all the way. And so this becomes our connection point between, between the two. One of the challenges in these old row houses are the existing brick walls are very porous and there's um, a lot of sound travels between the party walls. Um, and applying the air barrier to that rough brick is very difficult to do well. So we applied a parch coat of cement first over the whole wall to smooth out the surface and then applied the stow air barrier. And that provides a good air barrier. It also soundproofs you against your neighbors and it also prevents bugs and other things from entering the house. It's a, a very good way to uh, seal off these old brick buildings. The main way that we seal our joists, in the, this house we replaced all the old joists because they were in bad shape with new laminated veneer lumber beams, is that we put a taping membrane that's a Contega FC tape and it's kind of, it looks like felt basically that we press into the parch coat and, and then we actually seal it and then stow guard over top of that. That gets sealed to the wall here and then it has this uh, adhesive that gets put onto the beam here. The reason we do that is also because these LVLs come with a little bit of kind of an oily surface to them and so you want to make sure you've got a good layer of extra protection to, to adhere to. The purpose of that tape is instead of doing a spray foam connection or something else like that is that it gives some flexibility as the wood is moving separate from the wall. That felt tape basically is flexing with it and so rather than splitting the joints which uh, spray foam does and it pulls away from the wood, the tape just moves right with both surfaces. One of the really exciting products that we've found recently from 475 is the Lamlox roof hatch. And what it's done for us is that previous to that we were using the Bilco hatch and the Bilco hatch um, is a metal hatch that they put insulation in and they tried to address it by making it a little bit thermally better performing but it actually has major thermal bridges still with all of the metal construction. So what Lamalux is doing is they actually provide a fully fiberglass insulated hatch and in addition to the, the flat hatches that we were doing before, now it's actually like a roof window because we get the skylight coming in, which is the light that's shining on, on me right now, is from that, from that opening. So 
for our clients, we got the best of both worlds. We got something that's thermally broken, um, and we also have more light coming to the space now. On many projects, the windows haven't come, but we're actually still at the at the phase in the construction where we need to actually put the drywall up and close up the inner walls based on the, the regular pace of construction that doesn't have anything to do with passive house. And when we've done that, we're actually sealing over you know, three quarters of the air barrier. So what we found on this project is that in order to guarantee that we're going to get certification for a client is that we have to guarantee that we keep the entire air, bar air barrier exposed until the windows are in and until the windows are sealed to the Intello. And once that's done, we can test it with a blower door and see all the problems that might be there over the normal course of construction, correct them, make sure we have our number, and at that point then we can go back the regular course of construction and put our drywall in place. Hi, this is our energy recovery ventilator, which provides ventilation throughout the airtight house without losing the heat or cool. Um, this is our hot water tank, which is actually a combination solar hot water with um, electric backup. We've got two solar panels on the roof. The big tubes coming out of the ERB are the intake and exhaust tubes that go up to the roof, and those are insulated, which is very important, and we run them inside here to keep them protected. And then these white tubes that you see go to every room in the house. The exhaust from the bathrooms and kitchens and the supply to the bedrooms and living spaces providing the fresh ventilated air.